it appears that a storm is brewing in the Bayesa State Chapter of the All Progressives Congress, APC. Just last Friday, party chairman of Ekeremo and Southern Ijo local government areas suspended the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, oil, Anakin Lokubiri, and the 2019 governorship uh, candidate, David uh, Leon, over what they called anti-party activities and gross misconduct. The Bayesa State Executive of the All Progressives Congress has placed the ratification of the suspension on hold. The decision follows an extended executive committee meeting where members asked the Bayesa Commissioner of Police to arrest the State Commissioner for Power over what they called an invasion of the party's secretariat on Monday. Uvietemi George has more. The wind of suspensions has been blowing in the Bielsa State chapter of the All Progressives Congress. For anti-party activities. With high-profile members of the party mentioned in Ekeremo, Southern Ijo, Sabama and Yenagoa. The state executive meets at the secretariat in Yenagoa but puts the ratification of suspensions on hold. After the the chairman alleges an invasion of the APC secretariat in Yinagoa earlier on Monday. The Condemn the rascality and organizing of the engineer Karen Kobuku, who led us to invade the APC State Secretariat in an attempt to burn down the State Secretariat of the party. We also need the opportunity to call on the Commissioner of Police, by the Command, to arrest, investigate, and prosecute the Commissioner of Power. The Bielsa State Commissioner for Power reacts to allegations by the APC chairman. I was informed that there is a stakeholder meeting at the APC party secretary. So I went there. I saw some persons. I think it's wise as a party stakeholder to know what is happening in my party. On arriving there, I was attacked. I was really surprised to learn from the social media that I'm the one that went there with talks and to even burn down the secretariat. They are completely false allegations. And I think I will encourage the security agencies to find out the truth. Recent developments in the Bayelsa APC is indicative of a party enmeshed in a leadership crisis. Ovietime George, Arise News. Joining us now is Comrade Marlene Daniel, Pioneer Secretary, APC Bayes State, and former Special Assistant to former President Goodluck Jonathan. He's joined by Chief Easy Yakia, APC Chieftain and founder, Niger Data Media Activist Group and Excellent Leadership Foundation. Well, gentlemen, thank you very much uh, for joining us, uh, Chief Yakia, and also uh, former Special Assistant uh, to President Jonathan Marlin Daniel. Where there's turmoil in the APC, your party, in Bayesa State, with uh, uh, Minister of State for Oil, uh, Petroleum, yes, Minister of Petroleum Oil, being accused of anti party activities that he has even set up his own factional secretariat. Five or six other persons from the party have also been uh, 
suspended as members of the uh, uh, APC. Now, what is this true story? What do you see here? Are we dealing with the crisis of internal democracy or are the uh, suspended persons allegedly guilty as uh, charged? Let's start with you, uh, Honorable Marlene Daniel, and then we'll get uh, Mr. Izzy Yakia's uh, perspective. Welcome to the show. Thank you very um, much. Um, doctor, thank you so much. You see, this issue is not about party politics. The issue is bordered on corruption fighting back. It's corruption that is fighting back. There is no anti-party activity anywhere. You know, you want to kill a dog, you must look for a name to hit him. And that is what is happening. You see, the, the, the immediate past petroleum minister, minister of petroleum, Chief Timipri Silva, was the chairman of uh, uh, the local content board. The local content board issued, give a, 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 had a deal for, to build a, a, a modular refinery in Okboma Brass local government area. The, the, the original uh, cost of the, of, the, of the work is $5 million. But this, mo this money was increased to, to $35 million paid. And as I talk to you, not even the grasses have been cleared. It is my community. And that is the community where Chief Temipri Silva comes from. Not the grasses, not even one iron rod is placed there. So when the present minister came on board, he saw these things and he, he questioned it. They cornered him in order to bring him into the arrangement. He said, no, this is our state. Go and build that in there. He is not even concerned about the, the increase of the amount from $5 million to $35 million. But he said, look, whatever you have done, I don't want to know. But go and build this project. It's a project that will give employment to million, thousands of Bayesans. Thousands of Bayesans. We are talking of job creation. We are talking of job scarcity. And this is an opportunity and nothing has been done. And that is why the, 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 the past minister, which Timipri Silva, is fighting back. These are just, in fact, if you, if you are following the, 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 the trend in the Niger Delta, any little problem they do, they will corner the name of the minister inside. And that is the handwork of Chief Timipri Silva. IYC fought in Port Accord, they corner the name of uh, 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 the, the minister. That is their handwork in every situation. In fact, when during the, during the, 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 the protest, the hunger protest, you know, before the protest, Ministers were sent and all government functionaries were sent to their various states to dialogue with, the, with, 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 with citizens, to talk with organizations, to see how they can achieve the protest. And that was what took Henneken Lopobri to Bias as the government house. He went there, discussed with the governor, stakeholders, talked with stakeholders to see how they can achieve that, that, that demo, the, the, the protest. But they are now aligning all those things. I visited the governor and the rest of them. He is, a he is a serving minister. And you know that as a serving minister, he has to go around, especially when it okay, concerns okay. oil producing uh, okay. states. Um, oil Mr. producing Mr. Daniel, states. Mr. Daniel, uh, very quickly, we need to go to uh, Mr. Yakia to have his uh, viewpoint. But I can take it from what you have said so far that you are. Uh, in the uh, faction of Senator Heineken Lopobiri, uh, you are anti uh, Chief Timmy Preceiver, and you are a Lopobiri man. Uh, that's how I've tried to summarize uh, your submission. Maybe I didn't hear you too well, but that's the impression I get. But let's say. Uh, you didn't hear me very well. Uh, okay. You didn't hear me very well. Okay. I am a party man. Uh, is, it the the way, is, is it the other way around? Is it the other way around? I sacrifice for the party. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. You didn't talk about being a party man. But I just thought that you were happy on uh, 
what uh, Chief Timmy Preciva has done within the party. But let's hear from uh, Mr. Izzy Yakia. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Ruben. I would rather decide to stay on the most critical issues and let Nigerians know the fundamental problem that have brought us to where we are today. I will start by addressing what bothers me most because uh, our democracy is drifting into a very unpleasant scenario where media personalities who have come to cover an event will be attacked. That's why you see me wearing black today in solidarity with the Nigerian and media all over the world. On Monday, a very unfortunate incident occurred where journalists who were there to cover the event were attacked by talks. And uh, I will list the names of the journalists that were attacked for clarity because we have to state the facts the way they are. Tafi Owolabi of Sahara Reporters, Jacobson Park of People's FM, Lishman Oniso Idemoya of Silverbed, Joseph Kundo of TVC. Recording devices, phones were destroyed at the venue of the press briefing at Sagbama, the, the senatorial area of the current uh, Minister for Petroleum Resources. And in Yenagua too, they were attacked when they were suspending them. It's so sad, it's very unfortunate. And that same, after that on Friday, on Monday, the current minister, sorry, the current commissioner for power, Engineer Karim Komoko, who is the former personal assistant to the current minister for petroleum, who haven't worked closely for PDP to give them the victory in the November 11 election. He was compensated by that commissioner slot. And as selfish as Nigerian politicians are, he gave it to his personal aid to be the commissioner. So the commissioner who is saying that uh, you are a PDP person now, serving in PDP government, what are you coming to do in an APC meeting where APC State Executive Council is wearing that carcass, extended carcass with the members of the party? He came there and said he came to look at what they're doing, and you're a PDP commissioner serving. So the governor should take note of some of these activities and begin to address them. And he came there with some persons, and they invaded the secretariat. And today now, the security men have taken up that place because they wanted to burn the place. And uh, after that, the commissioner and the stocks were actually chased away because uh, they made some phone calls. Security operatives came, and uh, the extended caucus meeting actually held to look at the rectification, because they have 14 days to rectify that whole issue. But what bothers me most is the idea that each time journalists have offered themselves to do issues that have to do with their profession, have to do with their calling, they will be attacked by Nigerians who have considered themselves to be talks and nuisance in political circle. To me, it's very unfortunate, it's so sad, and I think it's not the right trajectory to go. Having said that, let me quickly address some of the issues that uh, my brother and friend, uh, Barrister Malin, have so raised. And I know that Malin, in 2007 to 2008, was working closely with Silva as uh, a Vanessa volunteer coordinator. Silva made him the pioneer secretary of APC through his uh, blood and may so rest in peace, Chief George Fente. But today now you see how people are coming on national television to bite the finger that have fed them. But however, Chief Me Priscilla facilitated the approval of a library Mozum when he was a minister for uh, petroleum resources during the Buhari government. He set up the oil field. He was also in charge of uh, the groundbreaking of that project on the 14th of February 2023. The project estimated to be about 117 billion naira to be funded by local content federal government Shell and by the state government. Silva also fought for the approval and establishment of the Atlantic refiner in Brass, which is referring to. Silva fought for Brass fertilizer petrochemical plants. Silva was instrumental to the PIA, now the bill, the PIB bill, that today the Niger Delta people are bad benefiting from. That bill had been in the dundrum. For over two decades, nothing had been done. When Silva was there, he tried to push it. Silva also fought for the establishment of uh, the investor of agriculture and other uh, lots works of works that he had done. I expected the current minister for state petroleum to, as a matter of urgency, begin to pursue how some of these projects 
will be concluded and commissioned for the interest of the same masses that he is talking about. All these things are lined up there. The minister deliberately abandoned those critical issues and is pursuing political issues for his own selfish agenda of going to contest right. the governorship right. in 2027. All right. And me and you Mr. know Daniel. that today, Baesa has a, a zoning principle. That's a zoning principle where the former governor, now Senator uh, Siraki Dixon, just left the saddle from his senatorial district. Okay. And uh, okay. currently, okay. the current governor is from the center. All right. So uh, by our zoning principle, governorship is going to the east. But mm. I wonder why political gladiators will always want to heat up the atmosphere, particularly those persons who are supposed to be making peace. Mr. Daniel, I How hope can you can hear me. minister of the federal... Yes. Uh, I can hear you loud. Oh, and sorry, Mr. Um, Easy Yakia. Sorry. Uh, I hope. Thank you. Okay. I, I hear. Yeah, Chief Easy Yakia. Chief, Chief Easy Yakia. Chief Easy Yakia. Yakia. All right, Chief. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah, I hear no, you yes. loud and clear. When we when we listen to both arguments, it almost sounds as if you are both campaigning for your candidates for an elective post. Um, enumerating what hold on hold on hold told. on a second yes whether it's it, the truth okay, but right. it, I said it sounds like you're both campaigning and we know the history of this shall I say feud and this whole tussle in Bayelsa state it is partially who is supposed to be the leader of the APC in the state on one hand some people say oh Senator Heine, um, Heineken Lokobiri as a seven minister is the leader of the party in the state and so has the party structures in the state and then on the other hand Mr. Timmy Pre Silva as a former governor is the leader of the state so these are some of the conversations that are the heart of what we are talking about this morning but I want you to answer with all this confusion that's happening in Bayosa state some people are calling that let there be a dissolution of the executive of the APC in the state what do you have to say about this and at the end of it all, I mean, Thank both you of you can much. both of you can respond to this. What do you have to say about this? Because it is just confusion, um, you know, pitching against one another, one camp against another. And it's not really about the project and the people. It's about the supremacy for power. So should they dissolve the uh, executive in the state? And what, how, how do you hope to resolve this? I'll start with you, um, Chief Yakia, and then um, Mr. Daniel, briefly, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. There is no contention about who is the leader of APC in Bayelsa State. Those persons raising assertion for dissolution is likened to the case of Moses, when Moses was discovered on the floating bath. The woman who did not own the child said they should divide the child into two. But the original mother of Moses said they should keep the child so the child can be alive. I draw your mind back to 2015, when His Excellency Chief Timip Receiver nominated, supported with other critical stakeholders to nominate Senator Henneke Lokpobri for the position of Minister for State Agriculture. Then, Henneke Lokpobri was very loyal. He was very committed. He was very humbled, because then he was chased out of uh, PDP and frustrated. He came, Siva gave him succor, gave him where to lay his hope, and made him a Minister for Agriculture. Then, Siva was the leader of the party. Siva led the party. Henneke was very humble. I take your mind quickly to a Edo state where they have a former governor in person of now Senator Adam Soshomole. There is a current minister in that state. You know the minister there, the minister for Niger Delta. He respects and humbles himself to make Adam Soshomole a former governor, now senator, the leader of APC in Edo state. If I take you back to Delta, Delta state of Omar Agege is the leader. Though he is not a former governor, but he is the leader. Then there's also a minister in that state, Festus Kayamo, who is working very hard to rebrand the aviation sector and allow us not to be having play I catches. Festus Kayamo as intelligent I, and vibrant. I need to bring, uh, excuse me, let me land. No, let I me land. I'm, I'm concluding. Mr. I'm concluding. Okay, I'm so concluding. Conclude, so I can bring Mr. Daniel. Let in, me conclude briefly. Let me conclude time. briefly. Please, in less let than a minute. Let me conclude briefly. Let me conclude. Let me conclude. Go ahead. One minute. Let me conclude. Let me conclude. At that point. They all agree that Siva is the leader. So today, what has changed between 2015 and 2024 that the issues of leadership have come to play? In Nigeria, we should always look at politics of the next generation. We should always look at politics as a position to position the downtrodden, the poor masses, and those like right. Kala Towers. Because Chief. the way Nigerian politicians Chief, I have struggle to go for to Mr. leadership, Daniel now. Thank even you. when that strategic position is so Chief, sad. I have to go to Mr. Daniel okay, now. God Thank you. you. Thank you. Mr. Daniel, please, very quickly. God bless you. You see, the, the idea of who is a leader of a state does not even arise. This is a constitution. 
I'm holding this constitution in my hand. When you look at from page one to page two, from page one to the last page, there is no place where they call leader of a state. It is not there. The word is not even there in the constitution. Leader of a state. So I wonder where they get the, 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 the name leader, that a, a former governor is a leader of a state. It's not constitutional. It is all what anybody that gives you respect as a person that they respect you and look at you as somebody who is coordinating the, the state, you, you can call yourself. But as long as this constitution is consigned, I heard him on channels, I watched him on channels saying, look at the constitution, look at the constitution. The constitution is here. There is no place like that in the constitution. Now, the issue of we calling, uh, 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 people calling Senator Lopobri, he, he, he referred to 2015. In 2015, I was the secretary of the party. Lopobri was warned into the party. He do not come and beg. We went to Lopobri, talk to Lokobri, beg him to come because as at then, there was no figure, apart from Timipri Silva, there was no figure. And as at the time Lokobri come to us, that we went to talk to him, myself and the deputy chairman of the party went to talk to Lokobri. Silva has not even come to Bayasa one day. In fact, when, when Buari came to, to campaign for his primaries, Silva was not even in Bayasa. We were the people that built that party in Bayasa. Then they were calling us Boko Haram party. And you know, good luck, Jonathan is from that party. So we know what we pass through. Silva do not pass a, a, a one little pain he was enjoying joining Abuja, we were doing the work until the eve of the, the, the general campaign, the yes, campaign Mario. for the general election was when Silva entered Bayasa for the first time. Okay, so Mr. the Mario. issue of him we, building, we as there. at that time, right. Lokobri okay. has started right, talking thank with you us. So much. Lokobri, Mr. Malin Daniel, so... Lokobri has started talking can, with us. Can you round off your... Just conclude your thoughts, we need to go as right now. As at that time, Lokobri has started talking with us. Okay. Sorry. Can you hear me now? Hello? Can you hear me now? I can hear you. All right. So yes, you need I to conclude. We need now. to go As now. Time, we're, we're out of time. Has started In 20 with seconds, Lopobri please. Lopobri brought the money to foot the, 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 all the works in the party. In fact, the 2015 election, where Timipri Silva was a candidate, it was Lopobri that was the, the, the campaign DG okay, who Mr. coordinated, right. who so brought the money. Right. We lost that election in just one single local Thank government so because of the laxity of the, the candidate. We're so sorry. We're out Lopobri did all thank his you. best to return him. He, he Mr. brought Mani more than, Daniel, in fact, thank they, you so they, much. They, 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 they furnished us thank and the secretariat. I went to take them on credit from thank business Thank you so men. much. It was Lopobri that paid that money. All right, we have to end this money, interview. Paid that money. Silva doesn't know how we run that party. All right, I Lopobri hope you can hear me. I hope you can hear me. Thank you so much. This conversation is definitely still ongoing, and there are still so many things in Bayelsa State, especially the APC, that needs to be resolved. Of course, when there are updates to that, we'll bring it to you here on The Morning Show. Thank you so much for your time, gentlemen.